What's going on everyone? This is John from freedomboundbusiness.com. Today I want to talk about AMZ Seller Browser. It's a software extension that not a lot of people talk about in Kindle Publishing. Um, and we're going to talk about that today. Uh, whether you should use it uh, instead of KD Spy or you know which one wins or should you use it in combination. Um, we're going to talk about that towards the end of the video. But let's hop into um, how do you use it, right? So what you first want to do is install it. So what we're going to do is type in AMZ Seller Browser, hit enter. It's usually the first one, second one, the one with the little stars. I'll leave a uh, quick link to, for you to uh, get to this page real quick instead of having to do this, but just for the purpose of example here. So once you get to this page, what you're going to do is just add it to Chrome. Um, it, it installs what you'll see, what you'll notice in Google Chrome is that you have this little red shopping cart indicator called AMZ Seller Browser. Okay, so once you have that installed, now we can go to Amazon.com and find profitable keywords. Now, um, let's go to the Kindle store. What should we type in here as an example? Let's do weight loss. Yeah, because this is a this is a good example because a lot of I'm not saying this is a profitable one or anything like that. And we'll check. But uh, a lot of people go into weight loss without um, doing the right. A lot of noobish publishers go into this without doing a certain type of approach um, following the Amazon algorithm. So uh, I don't recommend publishing in the keyword weight loss because because it's very big. As you can see, 32K results for weight loss. Um, if you're gonna try to tackle this um, keyword, then you would want to use a different approach. And and I'll, I, I might get to that in the end of this video because I kind of went on a tangent there. But anyway, AMZ Seller Browser, okay? So as you can see, the the uh, little gray boxes appear underneath the uh, the books now. So if you've taken any Kindle course, the usual rule of thumb is under 100,000 sales rank, which this is what this number represents, um, is good. It's a profitable keyword. Now, uh, 50 to 100,000, that's about $50 a month. If it's less than 50,000, so zero, like one to 50,000, then you're making $100 per month via your um, Kindle ebook. Okay. So as you can see, it also labels the free ones. So you don't really pay attention to those. These aren't that great. 268,000, 110,000, 11,000. So you can see that basically that's what AMZ Seller Browser does. Now, when is this useful? Um, because Katie Spy can do this too, right? And it just shows it to you uh, right away in one page. The thing is, you don't want to, uh, well, for me anyway, when I do keyword analysis or I do keyword research or try to find new uh, niches to be in, um, well, I want to be able to check it like real quick. I don't want to have to wait for, see, okay, well, this one was quick, but you know, those of you who are experienced in Kindle publishing, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, you don't want to keep uh, clicking on KD Spy every time because it, it just keeps loading slower and slower um, as you go on. And you can, you know, reset your cache or whatever. That might help. It might not. Haven't tried it. Probably should. But uh, anyways, you know, analyzing like this page after page or niche after niche, it's just a lot easier than having to open this up every time. See, now, now it's gonna, eh, oh, it's still telling me one to 20. So actually that's just Katie's spy. All right, let's move on. Which one's better? I think both are equally as good. Of course, uh, Katie spy does cost money. I do prefer using both at the same time, just because I solely use AMZ seller um, to basically analyze niches. Uh, and I might get to that in some other video, how to, how to find a profitable niche. But, um, and that's what I do for niches, AMZ seller browser. But for 
you know, when I really find a keyword that I think has a lot of potential, that's when I check for um, check with uh, Katie Spy. So you you know, neither wins. They're both great to have. Um, I use them in combination. By the way, guys, if you do install this uh, and it doesn't work, your boxes don't appear. Just play with this button. You just have to press it. Uh, it's just like an on and off switch, and it should be on if it's bright red like this. But you know, play around with it, and then it'll work eventually once you refresh the page, and that's how it is. Uh, if you don't have a uh, Katie Spy already, I'll leave a link in this in the description below where you can check that out as well. I do have a half off discount for the entire product, so. You can use AMZ Seller Browser. You can start off with that, and you can maybe, if you want, I recommend it, use KD Spy as well. Okay, so I'll leave a, uh, a box you can click on above this video, little video here as well, so you can just check that out and get it and find your profitable keywords. Anyway, anyways, guys, I hope you liked this video. This is John. I'll talk to you guys next time. I'll be making another Kindle video uh, to help you guys out as well. And I think I'm, the next one's gonna be more about actually uh, uh, Katie Spy and how to use that. What's the criteria that needs to be met for you to find a profitable uh, keyword? Okay, so that's what the next video is gonna be about. So I'll see you guys then. And until next time, have a good day.